The year was 2013. I was signed up to do a 5K with the St. Patrick's Run in Tulsa, Oklahoma. At the time, I had been a runner for about three to four years. The majority of my running experience was as a sprinter. Um, and any competitions that I would do in track and field, the highest distance I would ever race is 400 meters, but we would do training all the way up to about a mile on a longer day as sprinters. I was very unfamiliar with the concept of running long distances. And at the time being only 14 and a half, I had my work cut out for me for this race. I didn't do any long distance training ahead of time. I just assumed that my, at the time, natural athleticism would be enough to at least help me finish. And I wasn't wrong about that. I ended up finishing this race at a sub 26 minute pace, which being a 14 and a half year old at the time, I considered to be a pretty reasonable time to have succeeded with. I did not approach the race <laughs> in the most strategic way. I decided that I was going to try to run it as fast as possible, as most people in a race will typically do. But I approached it with a sprinter's mindset and not a distance mindset. I went out the gate way too strong. I don't have my mile splits. I wasn't wearing athletic watches at the time. But I definitely remember that after the first mile marker, I was starting to really feel it. And by the halfway point, because it was a point-to-point -point race, I realized that I had really screwed up. And there are certain points beyond the halfway where I actually was walking a little bit before I could go back to jogging. I was, I was really doing a run-walk strategy at that point. Not intentionally, but by the circumstances that I had put myself with. I stood on the start line with 416 other people just hoping to finish. And overall, I actually ended up having a, a pretty good time. Um, it wasn't an experience that made me think, oh, I'm going to go ahead and go on to distance. Um, after that race, I still went on to do a f another full year in high school of sprinting. And then about half a year, my sophomore year, before I decided to ultimately quit track and field altogether. But this race ended up planting a seed in my head that 10 years later would eventually bear fruit to what this channel is starting to look into going in the future. I am officially a distance runner now. And this race in 2013 is really kind of my origin story. I, I kept looking back at this race throughout the decade between now and then, and always thought fondly of the experience, the crowds of people on the sideline cheering for us, the energy that the people had. Um, it was something that as a sprinter, I didn't really have much experience with. You know, when you're running a 400 meter race, you know, one lap around the track, you're not really getting the energy from your fellow runners. It is just a complete mad dash for the finish line. But in races like 5Ks and above, you know, you're not able to necessarily sprint the entire distance. There is some level of jogging going on there for most people. And it really feels more like a community experience rather than a pure race format. And maybe that's just my non-competitive side. I'm not really trying to get first place in races necessarily. I'm really just there to be my own personal best. If that happens to do good, so be it. But after that seed was planted, and after I moved out to Mississippi, which is where I currently reside, I thought that it would be kind of neat, you know, 10 years later to give running another shot. It's now been about five months into my training. I've recently signed up for a half marathon after completing a 10K and a 5K. I actually have a 5K coming up in a few days now. But that first race really did it for me. And I'm very thankful that I got the experience of that so early so I could really just sit and marinate in my mind because it's led me to where I'm at today. I'll be telling a lot of stories about the races that I do. I'll be discussing my training plans that I have, my approach towards running, some of the pitfalls and mistakes that I've made along the way. And I'm really interested to uh, share this journey with everybody. This is just a little introduction video, just trying to say, hello, I'm back. Um, I have privated every video on this channel formally, just as a very brief and quick history lesson. I got big on this channel, big, being over 1K subs, not very big, um, on balding content, you know, talking to young men about how to be confident despite having young balding. I'm a 25 year old. I started thinning at 14, going full bald at the age of 18. And then I pivoted a little bit to fitness. Nothing ever really stuck. The entire time that I was doing this channel, I was doing full-time college or full-time high school and also full-time work. I'm now a general manager with a movie theater chain and I don't do school anymore. I graduated with a bachelor's degree in business management. And now I have a lot of free time on my hands. So I figured that now, better than ever, it's a good chance to try out this YouTube thing again and see if it ends up sticking this time around. I'm not going to make any promises. I'm not going to 
get anybody hopes up, but I've been really interested recently in trying to get back into it. And I wanted to share my running journey, not just for other people watching, but so that way I have something that I can look back on five, 10 years down the line as I, you know, continue to get better and maybe even someday, hopefully, qualify for the big marathons like the Boston Marathon, who knows? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. If you wanna see more, subscribe and do not forget to keep it casual.